Welcome to our video about dynamic virtual articulation. In the design step, called anatomy design in Dental Designer, you have the possibility to use a dynamic virtual articulator. This allows restorations to be created with dynamic articulation, reducing the amount of manual work. To activate the virtual articulation window, click on one of articulator icons located in Design Tools or Viewing Tools. If your scans are not aligned to right occlusion, you can adjust their positions using the control points to drag the preparation scan. When doing this, the virtual articulator is not shown. To undo any changes and return to original position, click the Reset to current static occlusion button. To change the occlusion height, that is, the distance between upper and lower jaw, set the values in the occlusal change field and click on the Lock Current Alignment button. Click the Setup button to set the articulator model, parameters and occlusal plane. Visibility of articulator can be switched off and on by the means of a slider. Select one of the six supported articulators from the drop-down menu. The position of the occlusal plane can be adjusted with the help of the indicated control points. The Auto Placement button helps you to set occlusal plane according to a default auto placement method. You can specify the articulator settings by changing values of the angles. To start evaluating and adapting your design, click the Articulate button. Physical articulators move the upper jaw, but in the software you have the possibility to move the lower as the real jaw would move. You can configure this by clicking the L and U button. To reset to default static occlusion, click the Reset button. In this window, you can select movements you would like to check and modify the parameters of the articulator movement. Click on to prevent Joe's penetration during the articulation and select the Record Contacts. This will show you the contacts when doing movements. Jaw movements can be done automatically or manually. After choosing type of movements you would like to perform. To do it automatically, use the plane button to reproduce jaw movements in the articulator and see all movements obstacles and contact points with depth. Your design will be adapted to occlusion and all obstacles removed when you press Adapt Design. Furthermore, the Minimum Distance box allows you to set the desired distance to antagonist. When you design anterior teeth, the Collide Design option may be useful in cases where you don't wish to avoid contact altogether for the reason of achieving anterior guidance and better function. For contact examination during different jaw movements, use occlusal compass. The colors represent the occlusal compass movements. And that's it. Thank you for watching.